Welcome to Disneyland and the Disneyland Resort. I've never stayed at the D- Disneyland Hotel before, so this I've is never like stayed huge. at any Disneyland Hotel before. That's true. This only we only time. stayed on off property. We are currently in the Adventure Tower, which is my one of my personal faves, personally myself. And we are in a very large room. We arrived after returning our rental car from our last video to the airport, and then we took an Uber back here, and we arrived and saw the entrance. I've never actually been in the entrance of that side. Right. We've only ever come in, like, downtown Disney side. Downtown Disney side, and then just, like, walked around the resort. I think so. Our room is ready at 11 o'clock in the morning, which is crazy. So we get brought our stuff up. And then we reviewed, or at least witnessed, the room. To the Adventure Tower! To the Adventure! It's a Disneyland Hotel. 2045, so we're in the floor two. Floor. Oh, you wanted to be at the top. I wanted penthouse level. I'm just kidding, I'm very thankful to be at the <laughs> Disneyland Hotel. <laughs> I never Any room here is fine. I never thought I'd stay here. <laughs> yeah. The dream is over. Your heart makes. I'll try again. A dream is that. No. <laughs> 46 is the lie. Oh, no, we're at the end of this one. No, no. 46. Or 45. Oh. <laughs> we're at the end. That's alright. 44. 45. Never mind, we are right here. Honestly, could not be closer to the elevator. <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is awesome. Wait, leave your bag over here by the yeah, door. We have to do a tour. I gotta do a little walkthrough. Our own tour. Yes. Let me turn on some lights. Oh my gosh. Look. <gasps> I was just seeing that. Literally, I was just seeing that in the elevator. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that. That is so cool. Turn that back on. Welcome to the Disneyland Resort. And then look. Look at this back right. The, the like. That. Oh. I have to turn that on again. That's cool. The jungle outside, because we're in Adventure Tower. <gasps> Did you not notice that? No. The fireworks go off. Watch. I'm shook. I'm like literally so shook. Like I shouldn't be as shook as I am, but I am. I'm obsessed with that, Luke. What the freaking heck? That's so cool! I'm obsessed. I love this. We just did the tour of, uh, like, the studio lot tour, and uh, I learned a lot about the history. <gasps> Whoa, this is so cool! Room. It's like a wraparound. You got a nice little two-person sinkeroo. That's really the closet. My favorite. I love it. Can you not be filming a <laughs> vertical video? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going a horizontal one. Fine. Look at the 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 wait what what the hands scones? is that what it's called yeah a scones but it's Mickey hand scones <sighs> guys I'm like obsessed with it it's like he's holding a torch he said Light I got light. you bro I just love this like whimsical almost, uh, squash and stretchy animation style mirror that you'd find like Toontown <laughs> I'm honestly like this is such an interesting design for a bathroom because like you have a closet here you know with your little your stuff I wonder if they have the same like. Look in here. I wonder if they have the same, like, amenities. I wonder if this is the same, like, smells as the ones on the cruise ship. Yep, same smells. I, I love that. It's the same ones that they have on the cruise ship. And then a toilet closet over here, which honestly, this, like, layout, I kind of love. Oh, look at that. Look at these. <gasps> They're Mickey hands. <laughs> uh, what the heck? This is the coolest. I'm, so, I'm like, I, I've so never been. enamored. That's true. The layout of but the I haven't movie. been, like. Like, we've stayed at, like, in Disney World, we've stayed at, like, Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is, like, cool. But this feels, like, a wider... But maybe it's the bed frames aren't, like, thick, so it feels, like, airy and open. No, and this also, is bigger. It's definitely This bigger. is actually bigger. There ha- it has to be bigger. But it doesn't have a balcony. Like, the ones there have balconies, yeah, though. But that's okay. This is, like, whimsical, and it's mo- postmodern? Yeah. Or... C- kind of, like... 70s easy. Like, look at the, the bottom of the bed frames. Like, I know. Have, like, a very... Mid-century modern vibe. Yeah. And I love it. But also with a touch of whimsy, whimsicalness. Yeah, like these. Yeah. All this. It just feels so nice. Not that anyone needed a room tour. We're just giving it to you right now. It's our tour of the room. Yeah. We're giving you our tour of the room. 
literally because we're doing we, a tour as we learn i love all these little touches i love them look did you even see this before <gasps> a dream is what your heart makes when you're fast asleep that is my favorite song <laughs> i'm not you think i'm joking Paul's laughing at me because he thinks that's not true. No, I, 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 do, I do know it's true. That's why it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be throwing... Are you mocking me? I was throwing a little bit of shade. Uh, oh. it's, it's a great song. Don't get me wrong. But a favorite song? I mean... Oh. It does get me teary-eyed, so... What can I say? It's a banger. <laughs> also... <gasps> Oh, the details. They're just, just like, detail. Things. Detail after detail. And there's fireworks on the ground. Like, Hold on. Let's play it one more time. Just for me. Again. Stunning. Literally so shook. And the fireworks go off. Which is insane. That's my favorite thing. I like it shook my it shook me to my bones. It shook me to my core. Yeah. We then headed over to I fear I am shooketh. Yeah, I fear I am shooketh. We headed into Disney well land. We were we wanted to go to California excuse my language. It's a really quick trip, so we're hoping we're gonna have time to like experience this hotel because I have wanted to stay at this hotel my entire life. Well, Not, that's, that's since I've known about it. <laughs> well first things first we're gonna just try to go get in the parks. Because they have to be back here in a couple hours. Yeah. Would you look at it? Just look at them. Go. Uh, Dave. I would just want to grab one of these for Tokyo. Yeah. Tokyo. Uh, Tokyo. Honestly, this would be a Tokyo bag. It turns red in the sunlight. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah, it turns red in the sunlight. And then when it's not, in the it's, sunlight, white. it's white. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Also, this bag is done. And also this beret. I'm, I'm here for, this is very Tokyo. That's very Tokyo. <laughs> Walk Main Street. And just enjoy the afternoon for a bit. We need to find food and coffee. But we don't. We haven't eaten or had any coffee today. We're passing away. It, and it's 12 o'clock. Yeah. Classic it feels, us. It kind of feels like 4 o'clock in the afternoon for now, some reason. Here's the deal. But if I are. was well caffeinated, I wouldn't even be thinking about food right now. That's true. That's true. But because but I have not, not had caffeine. Therefore, <laughs> and there's so many of them, I love it. And I like all driven and like everybody is in costume and it's just so fun. It makes my whole day. Didn't Sumner drive one of those at one point? Yeah, I think back in the Newsies. When the Newsies yeah. came. But it was at Walt Disney World, it wasn't here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Disneyland so much. There's a horse driving a trolley. We had, came over to California Adventure because we got to go to San Francisco to get food. Yeah, we're starving and we have stayed starving so that we can go to San Francisco. Yeah, our favorite. I kind of want to get some pho or some ramen. Well, we already got ramen last time, so I want to see what they have on the menu. Yeah, you know, something what's else. New? What's, what's diff? What's diff here at Pixar Fest? Luke, we're home. At the Disneyland Hotel, they said, welcome home. And I said, ah, this ain't San Francisco. <laughs> what, can they make a San Francisco hotel? Thanks. Yeah. Baymax is doing meet and greets right now, and I'm yeah, obsessed. Like him, and I love him. But they closed the line right now, so we're gonna have to come back at two. Uh, Not us just sitting here watching Baymax do a meet and greet. He blinks! Oh my god! He has my whole heart. You want to do that, and the magic happens. I just don't think it's possible. Yeah. It's a very long line. Baymax 
does rank higher in my book of things I need to do. Also true. But, but, I, I don't I, even know if we have time to do that. I know we have a meeting at four, at three, 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 four. We made it. We got in line. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am obsessed with bangers. <laughs> we were gonna do this on like from Japan. There's this like B A Y F A X thing you do on this ride, and we were gonna do it with him, but then we totally forgot because he's just so precious. So I don't know. either way, like, you already. Like, well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, Eric. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to get some the sunscreen on for sure, and then we also have to. Uh, Meet up with our with our team here. Yeah. We're technically here with Theme Park Frog, and let's explain a little bit what that is. So Theme Park Frog, aka Undercover Tourist, is 35 years in the game of helping sell discounts on Disney tickets. And so they host a frog hop. And right. we're currently on a frog hop. It's the Froggy Friends frog hop, so we're here with a bunch of duos. Alright, we have a lot to do. We have a, we haven't prepped any of our short form content. So we're, we're gonna, gonna do dance that. a little bit. Luckily we're on the second floor, that means no one's below us other than the lobby. So good, so good. So, stand up, stop, stand. So, it's like shoulders. It's like shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Ooh, that's so weird. Uh, boom. Uh, oh, wait, shoot. Oh, my God. That's easier. Boom, ba, ga, oh. Five oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So dig, dig, step, toes, dig, dig, suck in. Pressure, step, pressure, step. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you rolling through it or are you? Yeah, I'm rolling, but like. There's the timer. It's time to go. Everybody got matching t-shirts. This is not backwards. No? No, good. Okay. We met up with everybody and then got a tour of two different hotels. We got to see the new Pixar Place Hotel and then we headed over to the new tower at the Disneyland Hotel, which is called The Villas. It is a DVC property, um, but you can book it through Undercover Tourist if you're interested. I love these chairs. We then headed into Disneyland. We had a pretty jam-packed night, but we wanted to start off by getting a few dances filmed. And then the light was not that great, so we went and met Minnie instead. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We decided we needed to get a take of a dance before the sun set, so we tried this one, which we were not really ready for. We had rehearsed it in the hotel beforehand, which you saw. This part was so hard. That ending, last the last four counts of the freaking dance. Well, yes. Let's perform it and call it a day. Oh. Okay, you got it. Thankfully, we had friends that were there to just help us film it, and they were very patient with us, and thank God. But this man here in the background was the real MVP of this video. We got it, sorta. We then headed over to the Blue Bayou for dinner. Now I have never gotten to eat in this restaurant. This restaurant sits right on the inside of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So the boats kind of go right past where you're eating, which honestly was such a vibe. Undercover tourist hooked us up with the Phantasmic di Phantasmic <laughs> dining package. And I thought this was really cool because basically you get dinner and a show and you get pre like, Reserve it's a pre seating. It's a prefix menu, and basically you have options for like a, a appetizer, like appetizer entree, entree, and then dessert. Yeah, it was and very then good. It, it's at Blue Bayou. Blue, Blue Bayou. Bayou. Yeah, 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 Blue Bayou. So basically, what we got is, or both of us, I think, got the same thing. Yeah, I got gumbo, the gumbo, flam and yawn, and then the chocolate tart. A, a very, very rich, rich chocolate tart. Yeah, but the gumbo, I have to say, was my favorite. Yeah, of the whole night. It, spicy, Cajuny. Yeah, perfect. I would have eaten a bat of that. Like I love. To be that. honest. It started off high and kind of went down from there because I, I if you like filet mignon, you probably would love it. I'm yeah. not a big beef boy. We had so beef growing up, like like really high quality beef all growing up. So it's just really hard for me to eat beef. And I would <laughs> say that this is very high quality beef as well. But for me, I w should have gotten the chicken. You should have gotten the chicken for sure. I, I, just, I, I agree. prefer the chicken. But I say the asparagus stole the show with the filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> and then the chocolate tart. We were so full by the time that chocolate tart came out. It was delicious, but very rich. But we were challenged to eat the no. whole thing. So one of the people at our table was like, you can't eat that whole thing. I said, watch me. So and then because Paul was doing it, I had to. Yeah. So 
And then we went outside and we had reserve seating for Phantasmic, which I've never seen this Phantasmic before um, here in, in Disneyland. And it, I love the story of Fanta Fantasia, but I like that they included other characters in it. I like that they actually used Fantasia as like the backbone and the storyline of Sorcerer Princess Mickey yeah, is yeah. kind of like the storyline. And I like that they like amp it up and it's fun. And then they add other characters into it and have little boats. And then they have the <laughs> villains, which actually add in conflict, which I thought was really powerful. It's not scary, scary, but then you have like the big pirate ship with Hook and Peter Pan, and there's all these acrobatics. So the different elements that you they get, bring into it, I thought was really cool. You get a lot of conflict yeah. throughout the whole story. And it's just so beautiful. And they use fireworks and a lot of like stage tricks. And projections. And, and oh, it's pretty. This version has been down for a long time and it just came back and it was because the the dragon caught on fire and the dragon did not return. Nope, it's just Maleficent on a big pole. But Which I honestly, thought was, I thought it was good. I thought it was great. And I actually liked it a kind of better. I mean, I've never seen I it with like the dragon. The dragon. I've, I just have seen videos of the yeah. dragon. I love a big, big, like, you know, dragon moment. Yeah. But I think that Maleficent does get her moment. Here's the deal. The boats, the choreography at the end. Da -da 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 even da -da 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 even the little, da -da. it's like the cavalcade boats, not the cavalcade, but like, they're like little bit mini boat sections with like the monkeys from uh, oh. Jungle Book. And then you've got the, uh, I just love water. I, I know. I just, and boats. And boats. I, I love, boats. love, I love a boat moment. I love transportation. Trains. <laughs> Planes. <laughs> automobiles. <laughs> Planes, trains, automobiles, boats, cruise ships. We love them. We love transportation. <laughs> What's time? <laughs> you know, you got this. We got it. Dream is a wish. Your heart makes. You know, when you're fast asleep. <laughs> a dream is a wish. Your heart makes. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, vibe check. We're doing this. It's Buddy Day, so we're doing uh, our Sherman buddy themed. Brothers. So we're the Sherman Brothers, and we're in matching outfits, but we're. Pretending that we're fitting like the... Okay, you get it. <laughs> Let's go. What's up, fella? Hey, how are you? Good, man. I'm dying. I am tired. tired. It's all right. Did you already have I videos? love this. If we didn't have to help, we would not know where we're going. We would have... We'd be lost. The Sleeping Beauty Pavilion. That's what we were looking for. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> one at a time, though. Only one at a time. It's like that, that the peas, uh, European guy who's like, you have to eat the peas with a fork. You have to, you have to poke your, p p p stab your peas. <laughs> poke your peas. Yeah. Taking the, the magic over here. <laughs> look at this, look at this bucket hat. Fits the vibes. You can pull off a bucket hat way better than I can. Bucket hat's it's the hair around. It's the hair. Yeah, this is actually my first time wearing a bucket hat. And it's reversible. Yeah, you can reverse it. But you do have to chop it. It's better if you chop it. It'd be funny to wear it like this though. Yeah. With it, yeah. <laughs> Center. Right in the front. <laughs> oh, a hat. A hat moment. Oh. We uh we actually didn't sit together. I know it's weird because I don't know how to get confident. That's fine, you know. That's fine. <laughs> this is not something like that's purposely not about, but just life hack. If you're looking at Disney cruises, we're looking at undercover tourists because we're looking at doing that. Because I was like, dang, that's like way discounted. Why do consumers buy from undercover tourists? <laughs> to save money. <laughs> Bam! You have another one? Uh, for the tips. <laughs> wow. <laughs> grab, grab, grab it. Grab it. Oh. <laughs> Ryan? Really, Luke? Learn the game. You're the last one to go. <laughs> Wade. I won trivia and I got this back. And I love the Rescue Rangers. <laughs> Luke got a T uh, Rex like tote bag, which is really cool. This is the new entrance to Downtown Disney. Um, the 
current like over by the hotel will actually close while they renovate that one for uh, like hotel guests only entrance right there. Brand new restrooms right at the entrance. <laughs> Where's Eric to review the restrooms? I gotta check it out. They're really cool. There's like tons of hidden Mickeys in there, which is like super cool. Alrighty y'all, what are we doing? What are we doing today? We're, we're trying to find coffee. We're getting coffee, the space coffee. The coffee. Black coffee. Black Calf Cold Brew from Galaxy Day. Black Calf Cold Brew, Luke's favorite, right Luke? Yeah, <laughs> I, I do like it. Luke likes it, he just doesn't like the ice in it. He's like, shake it. We, we always have a spoon so that we yeah. can get it. Oh, the there you go, that's a good and idea. You push the ice while you drink it. Yeah, push it away. Yeah, that's, we always get it with the spoon. Have you ever wondered what it sounded like when we were recording a dance? Well, this is what it sounds like. Yep. It's incredibly amusing to watch. Yeah. We had ordered our coffee on mobile order, but it wasn't quite our time slot yet. So while we waited, we raced some droids. I have to say, as myself being Paul, I was pretty confident that I was gonna win this one. Unfortunately, due to circumstances outside of my control, Luke came in in first place by quite the lead actually yeah i was i was a little distracted there at the end because we saw the roaming droids the ones that like are so precious and cute i'm obsessed with them Woo! that was so good round of applause <laughs> I tried this last year at Walt Disney World and I did not like it and I had many words to say about it. But this time, Megan dared me to try it again and say, give Disneyland a chance, it's better. And she was not kidding. <laughs> it is so much better. And I, I would not just say that. Very particular about my coffee, but I would recommend mixing it all together. I do like it better mixed. We're getting ready to go on a whole culture -y tour of Disneyland. That's perfect for me. So the Evans brothers were contracted for Walt's backyard back in the 50s, and they ended up staying. He invited them in when he had a plan for Disneyland, and they ended up staying with him for like until they retired. Until they retired, and they were involved in every park as consultants up until the not the Chinese parks and not the water parks, but every other park in the world. Yeah, Tokyo, Paris, Paris. Uh, yeah, all of world and all of land. Yeah, yeah. that's insane. And, and they have a window right here in Disneyland. And we're walking here with Chip. Look, Chip is in our tour too. Thank you. I love you. Hydroponics, and they were talking about their. I think they're going to do more later. About it. Mm -hmm. But she was talking about their irrigation system and how that yeah. saves them hundreds of thousands of gallons a year of water. Of water. So, do you see how the plants here get smaller as they go up the mountain to create that forced perspective? So the trees up there are actually really tiny, but they look big because they're on the mountain. One of my favorite films is Sleeping Beauty because Ivan Earl did all the backgrounds and he did a lot of the forestry. And when he painted forestry, he liked to make these like square block trees and it was part of his like famous art style that he did even around and not even adjacent to Disney. But there's some trees over there that are, are kind of representing him. The Philadelphia Evans High, named after the Evans family. It was really cool to hear about how, technically, in the original plans, this was where Tomorrowland is, and they had to move it because of like natural tree lines. Yeah. Yeah. Walt was like, we want to save money and also preserve those trees, so they put it here instead. None of those trees exist today, but they have let it like, grow and change and evolve with the land. So like as they plant, the engineers still take care, and the whole bunch of trees still takes care of it, but they still kind of leave it alone. They let it get like yeah. the so when the leaves fall, fall, they stay on the ground to like provide nutrient-rich soil, but they also like clean up the parts that need clean up and like help 
fertilize things and take care of things that are that are struggling. And some of them, some of the plants in there are like incredibly poisonous, which is kind of wild. Yeah. Also, we've never done this jungle cruise. I don't think we've no. ever done the jungle cruise. Only one at Walt Disney World. So this is really fun to see. It was really fun to see like all the cool, the differences, but also, well, we didn't hear it with the skipper. We heard it with yeah. our tour guide, which is really cool. Why don't you do it with the skipper sometime? It's the afternoon pick me up. It's the up one. It's butterscotch. Mm. Yum. You will know the song. You're gonna want to dance to it. Oh yeah. We're watching the Better Together, a Pixar Pal celebration parade. We're right across the street from San Francisco. Hello. My best. We got a bottle cap macaroon from Up. We got the Pixar ball. We've got a cocoa bun cake. <laughs> a monster zing cookie. Right here across from San Francisco, our favorite place in the entire world. San Francisco. Actually, Tokyo, but. Yeah. yeah, here they come! We love a good dancer moment, so when they had them, that many dancers in that parade, I made my little dancer heart happy. Editor Paul, a few things I missed. We were doing a dessert party, and if you're interested in doing a dessert party, I highly recommend it. And if you're interested in how to book it, just check out this article from Undercover Tourist down below. Also, I found out later, after posting about this parade, that my friend David Simmons sings on this track, which I'm obsessed with! After the parade, we spent a few minutes filming some content. Okay, do it one more time. Well, can I do it one more time? I'm sorry. Sorry, Megan, thank you. No, you're fine. Got you. Megan was the true MVP. <laughs> He's saying, get up here. Let's dance. Oh crap, I wasn't rolling. After filming a few videos, we headed back to the Disneyland Hotel for dinner. Palm Breeze is a restaurant inside the Disneyland Hotel, which is brand new and so pretty. We ended up filming a lot of videos while we were waiting for our food. And even after our food came, we kept filming videos, which is just- Here you go. I'm gonna take one now and it's gonna be so good. Oh, yummy, yummy. <laughs> six, seven, eight, one. Six, seven, eight, one, two, wrap up. <laughs> that was good. We then headed back to Disneyland to see the Together Forever, a Pixar nighttime spectacular with a special viewing that Undercover Tourist hooked us up with. I gotta watch this one again. We then rushed over to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which I've never actually done this version, so I was really excited <laughs> to get to ride um, this. Actually, no, no, the ride is the same. I really wanted to walk through the queue, um, but because we had Lightning Lane, you do miss some of it, so I really want to ride this sometime where I have to walk the regular queue. Disney does such a good job with queue lines. Also, it was so much fun to get to do this frog hop with these amazing creators. We had such a good time just hanging out, getting to know each other, and but other than two of the people on the trip, I didn't know any of these people. So it was really fun to get to know each and every one of those new friends. Hey, 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 we love them there! Hey, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I'm so excited! No? 
are so tired. I love it. I'm just so out of it. I'm so excited. Wake up. Wake up. I'm so excited. Now play together. I adore that ride. Oh my god. That was so fun. It was amazing. It was amazing. I don't know. I'm gonna make it happen. Then we made a video pretending to be small world characters. Because what else are you gonna do at this time of night? Keep going. <laughs> amazing. Ready? That's amazing. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, I was always been around. Oh, last ride. Small last world. ride. Let's go. Fun fact, I've never done this small world. I've only ever done this small world at Walt Disney World. So I'm excited to see how this one is different. The original. It's the original. My favorite ride. Uh, you know you know, Mickey just waved us out. He just said, good night. I love him. I love him with all my I love them. Give something on the other side. Names in the middle. I love God, him. God, I love him. We are so tired. So tired. So, <laughs> we have done so much today. How long have you been awake? Uh, it's 11.30, but it's been a long day. We've got an early morning tomorrow and then a flight home. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Way back. Way back. Good morning. We're a little bit sleepy, but we're here. We have arrived at the place. We're just gonna get some good food in us. I need some coffee. Yeah. Yes. Pull these bags out. We'll get there. My baggage. I'm gonna have to check these. You know, on the airplane today. This guy. To check these bags. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds bad. Sounds bad. I'll stop that. I'll let myself out. <laughs> And, here we go. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> We're eating breakfast today at the Great Maple in Pixar Place, and it looks so cool. It's a vibe. But also, look at this little bear drink over here we got going on. The cinnamon toast with a salted caramel. Oh, I still got a straw. A pancake. Janet! 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 Look at that! Just committed. <laughs> Look at these. What are those? It's hot, yeah. <laughs> We're headed back into the parks. We have a fast pass for Radio Springs Racers. We car in at Cars Land. Car in at Cars Land. <laughs> ka -chow! Hey -o, Let's go! Oh my gosh, you guys. We need a Space Racer! We won! That's right! Hey, that is like the best ride for like, it's like casual, and then it's thrilling, and then it's like competitive. It's kind of like the best of every world. Oh boy! <laughs> That's how winners win. Right that is, there. right there. This is the worst part of any trip because you have to say goodbye to all your friends. And even though we've only known each other for a few days, they're like your family. Incredible coaster. Everyone's in. Getting to do both of my favorite rides on property in one day. That is my favorite roller coaster. I love that roller coaster. It's like the perfect balance of like thrilling, but also themed. It's and like, just so fun and, and it's, it's so long. Fun. It's long. I love that. I love it. Uh, I lost my voice when I wasn't able to scream, but I kept going. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I love the theming. Oh, and the Jack Jack Blob. I, I know. Never I've never seen before. him animated before. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's always the case, or we yeah. didn't see it last time. What's going on with my eyebrows? We, we, all, we all took turns. Like, what? One of us. Are you 
How do you feel? Oh, that was so good. How fun was that? So good? That hurts. That hurts a lot. I'm like so... Like my tummy hurts. Oh really? No, I'm just kidding. Um, it does feel like Goofy's flying the plane though. It's like... It feels like a cartoon plane flying in the yeah, air. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it feels like. Yes. We didn't have time to do Guardians because we couldn't get a fast pass in time. So, we're just gonna eat a test, Pim's test kitchen instead. Just kidding, the wait was too long. So we're uh, <laughs> gonna go find something else. Probably the New York's tastiest. I yeah. I need some, some shawarma. Yeah. Well, I forgot to film about the shawarma wraps, but they were good. Shawarma wraps. Shawarma. Sh how does it? Shawarma wraps. It's not a hard thing to say. It's a tough thing. But then we got Vietnamese coffee from the Joffrey's cart, which is called the cappuccino cart. And we're headed to the front of the park. We're trying to, by. trying to beeline it back to our hotel because we got to grab our stuff and then head to the airport. Disneyland Hotel is a vibe. And we didn't even get a chance to like explore it all that much because of the time we had. But the pool is so cool. Trader Sam's, there's like little seating areas everywhere. You can go walk ride. up. There's like a pool on this side and a pool on that side. Oh, I just love the slide. I love the monorail slide. The monorail slide is it. If you are looking to save money on a Disney vacation, definitely check out Undercover Tourists. They will save you time. They will save you money, not only for parks, but for, for resorts everything. and for cruises. Cruises, guys. Cruises, cruises guys. guys. Cruises. Don't die. Okay, bye. A special thank you to Matthew, Mark, Morgan, and Webster for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon. If you want to join our team, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or use the link below.